Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. This is an, a How I Art video, and I was asked how I sharpen my pencils. And I have several methods for different types of pencils that I like to use, and I'm going to show you what they look like and explain how to do it instead of, and explain why you would sharpen it that way instead of actually um, taking 30 minutes to do it like I did in the original video. So let's get started. You have different types of pencils. Now I have two sets here of graphite drawing pencils. You have I have a number four pencil and number two pencil in an extender. And then I have a carpenter's pencil and a drawing carpenter's pencil, carpenter style pencil. Okay. So, with carpenter pencils, or the ones of that style, there are basically two ways to sharpen them, and that is either with a knife or a sharpener. Now, I have this sharpener, which you put this in and you turn it, and it makes it round. And... I also sharpen this one with my X-Acto knife or my razor knife, my box cutter razor knife thing. Now, if you are sharpening with a knife, be very careful. You always want to keep the blade away from you. You can put your thumb behind it, but do not put any part of your body or anybody else's body or an animal or anything that you want to keep safe in front of it because you can very easily go right off of it. You can catch a snag and you put a little into it and you're liable to go right through anything. So an X-Acto knife or a razor blade, um, a razor knife or one like that, a sharpener like that are great. This one has a sharpener on this side but if you put it in this way, it makes it like this. Uh, it makes it a, a finer point. And if you put it in, you turn this upside down and put this in this way and it goes back and forth, then it flattens it. Uh, and these are awesome to use for sketching and laying down a lot when you're sketching um, to start with. So uh, I really highly suggest trying to find a sharpener like this and one like this if you want to use these type of pencils believe it or not i used to start all of my drawings with this little home depot pencil uh, that's just that was always my layout pencil for some reason and it's always worked really well for me okay so then you have your regular pencils and to sharpen these you just want a regular pencil sharpener say this one is just a regular old pencil sharpener this one has got a sharpener for the regular thing and then the extra large pencil and just sharpen it up with one of those this one here is an automatic long point sharpener and the blade on this side is a standard pencil sharpener as well uh, also I have this Derwent electric sharpener and this is my favorite electric sharpener and you take this and you put the line to this one here and that is your standard sharpening thing um, sharpening feature so if you do it to this side over here this is your um, long point feature and let me show you what a few different things look like. So this is a standard sharpener. Um, that one is a little bit different, but that's standard. Uh, let's look at this one. I think this is just a standard as well. Okay, so if you go, let me find one the longest that this will go the sharpest this will go on long point mode which is this one over here will do this it'll give you a little tiny bit extra 
and that actually is a good starting point if you want to sharpen your pencils I actually suggest starting with that one uh, now remember it's, it's just this one on this side over here and the next thing you can do is go to this which is the automatic long point sharpener now you can if you're on the go you can just leave it like this while you're sharpening but if you're at home or something get you a trash can or this is just something that my dog chewed up when it fell in the floor and I open this up and I just sharpen right over top of it but the automatic long point it does not touch the lead of the pencil unless it's really thick and what it looks like for the most part are these I if you look at mainly this one you see how it's got about a quarter of an inch probably not even that um, about an eighth of an inch past where the normal bevel and sharpen on the the tip of the pencil is and I don't know if you can see this one but it's the same way uh, now what I do is I sharpen this if you look at it let me get one of these to show you if you sharpen in the regular it's going to stop here at the end of the blade if you sharpen in the automatic long point it'll stop when it gets back here to the stop block so that gives you almost well it gives you that much extra from the end of the thing to the stop block so let's see here But if it's in here, it don't come out. Uh, so what I suggest is getting one of these. This is a Coom automatic long point sharpener. That is going to be your best bet for sharpening pencils if you want to use a sharpener. Uh, that is excellent for graphite pencils especially, but you can also use it for most charcoal pencils. Uh, you might not want to use it on the really soft, soft pencils. Though. In certain pastels and stuff, you probably don't want to use that either. So, for something that is really soft, here is another way to go about it. This is a 6B. Okay. So, again, automatic long point. And I stopped before it ever got up there because the lead is a lot thicker in this one so what I done I got a good distance back to where it actually the casing got to the bevel basically to the sharpened point and then I just take and I basically I shave away now again just shave it away with the blade away from you never point the blade towards you at all but you can use your thumb and what you really want to do is make this so that you go with the angle of the the lead basically and what that allows you to do is have more control over the pressure that you're using with each pencil so now this one was done to start with with the automatic long point and then finished with a knife and or the exacto knife and that just it gave me about a half inch piece of lead there now if you want to do all knife that's completely fine to do and this is some here that I've done with all knife so uh, Let's see, that is my lightest one, the 2H, that would be the HB, and you can see that they look a little bit different than the one over here. So this is, this is with the knife, just the knife, and you can see the lead is deformed a little bit where I nicked it here and there, but if you look at this one, the lead is not nearly as deformed, and it's it's got a better point on it overall, a longer point. Uh, that's why I like using 
the automatic long point first and then going back and finishing it with my exacto knife just to give you an example of what it can do i done this and this is done with a 2h pencil from anything on here in the beginning in the middle of this is a 2h pencil um even this mid <clears throat> excuse me got the hiccups this mid area is 2h uh this light area is 2h these lines here that's in this which i don't think you can even see it looks like the white of the paper on the camera that's 2h as well uh as it gets darker that goes to hb and then to the 6b as the darkest areas now uh the way you do that though if you look up here i'll do it over here again this is a 6b and look how light that is i mean you can't even see it on the camera i don't think it is so light you can I can barely even see it just right here now with just a little bit of pressure I get a little bit darker and I keep putting pressure in getting darker and then I get to here and that's about the same darkness and I put even more pressure until I get to there so that's why you want to have a long point on your your sketching pencils like that if you're doing shading if you're just drawing line art by all means just go with a like a regular uh, hb pencil and go or a, a 2b or hb and just use a regular old pencil sharpener is just fine for that if you happen to run out of your pencil like so you can buy a pencil extender and I love pencil extenders because I hate throwing away something that still has some use so I can put that right in there I can tighten that down and then I'm ready to go I am ready to draw and this actually is what I draw my cartoons with if you watch my cartoon videos this is what I start them with so now with that being said uh, this is the Derwent brand and I don't know where the other one is at but the Derwent pack comes with two the black one and the silver one and there is another one that is you pull the thing out you put the pencil in there and then you push push that thing back down and it's got a long uh, wooden pencil handle on the end and that can make your pencil too long i really like this one because it's just the right length even you know it, it fits in my hand perfect for drawing this type of stuff now if i'm going to be doing this you might want to go for that longer one if you're going to be using it for your your stuff that's you know shading like that or whatever but uh, i actually do highly suggest the derwent because you get two of them and they are for different size pencils um the smaller one I, I don't know this might be the smaller one um one of them is for the thicker pencils like um i have some triangular pencils that will go in it but they are too big for the other one i believe it's this one that they're too big for and then some of your your uh color pencils are too thick to go in one of these the other one the other brands that are out there most of them are that one system and they do not adapt well to both types of pencils so that's why i suggest the darwin anyway this is half as long as the last one so i'm happy with it and if you have any more questions about how to sharpen your pencils or how i sharpen my pencils or anything like that uh let me know and i will answer them i'll try to answer them in the comments here uh, also i will be doing q a videos if i get a whole lot of questions at once so uh, yeah that's all and i will see you later that's how it rolls <laughs>